Parks four months since the Eastfield Mall closed its doors after 55 years, and many of the small businesses that used to operate in the mall had to relocate. However, changing locations presents its own set of challenges, and Western Mass News reporter Daniel Santiago spoke with a business owner impacted by mall closing, the mall closing down and brings us her story. The Eastfield Mall in Springfield is now sitting empty and surrounded by barricades since officially closing its doors back on July 15th. Since then, many of the small businesses that used to operate inside the mall have relocated. One of them is a toy store, a blast from the past and more. It was a nightmare. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It was a nightmare and it was also scary because this is how I feed my family. I cried. Um, I lost plenty of sleepless nights. Um, I didn't know if I'd be able to uh, keep my business or if have to close my business. On Wednesday, Western Mass News met with the store's owner, Crystal Mendoza, at their new location in Indian Orchard. Just a quick five minute drive from the Eastfield Mall. She tells us the move has created different challenges like losing customers and therefore money. Sometimes I haven't even made 500 in this location. The mall traffic is unbelievable because a lot of people go there not for one store, but for many. So for me, someone has to see my store, want something in it, park, get out, come in and buy. Um, it's a whole nother scenario being on your own other than being inside a mall. In her store, you can find sports gear, collectible cards, figurines, and even a dinosaur greeting you in front. But Mendoza has had to rely on different methods to make ends meet. eBay paid my rent this month. <laughs> Um, and that's just honest. I have an online store called The Blast from the Past, so I ship everywhere in the world, um, and it, it's, it's, it's a significant help here. Mendoza is counting on the support of the community to keep her business afloat, especially now that holiday shopping is just around the corner. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Daniel Santiago.